Hello crafty friends and welcome to today's clean and simple card making video. Today I'm going to use this DIY stencil that I made using a sheet of mylar which is the material that most stencils are made out of. This is a bit thinner than regular stencil material but I find it easier to cut using dies. So I've got this Sizzix die and I've simply run it through my die cutting machine with the mylar and I've got a DIY stencil. My idea for this card is to blend some subtle green colour because I'm going for a foliage floral inspired design. So I'm going to blend these Catherine Pooler inks, I've got Matcha and Spruce, both from the Spa collection. And I'm just going to gently blend them through. So that's the Matcha. It's coming through a bit sprucey because I think there's a bit of spruce still on my sponge from earlier. But I can build up my colours bring in some matcha so i've got two greens there this one is green and this one is green also so these are pure greens basically and i think i'll just darken it in a couple of places with the spruce and now i can remove my stencil and i should hopefully have a nice bit of not too intense blending for my background I would like a little bit more matcha on my background. So I've got a small stamp here. It's just got some numbers on it. And this is for visual texture. The numbers aren't particularly symbolic of anything. And I'm going to stamp once with the full strength ink and then do a ghost stamp afterwards. So that just brings in a bit more of the matcha green and adds some visual texture. My next step is to bring in some bling, some background bling, and I'm going to do that by heat embossing in gold embossing powder. I'll give this a good dusting with corn flour, also known as cornstarch, but you can use talcum powder or a highly professional anti-static powder tool. And I've got some grungy floral type stamps here. And I'm going to stamp them in embossing ink over my stenciling and stamping and I'm going to put my head over the top so I can get them lined up properly so I'll come back to you after I've done that. Now I'm going to dip this in my gold embossing powder. It doesn't matter if there's a few stray bits because it is meant to have that grungy look and now I'm going to heat it with my heat tool. So it looks good, it's cooled so I'm going to give it another going over because I want to add some more gold. And I've got a little splatter stamp here. I could do actual splats, but I want this to be a little bit more predictable and controlled. Right, I'm happy with that. I've got gold splatters restrained to this area, but sort of trying to escape a little bit. So that brings in quite a bit of energy. Speaking of spatters and energy, I just want to get some spruce on here, not too concentrated, and spatter it around this area. And I've covered the bit I don't want to get spatters on with tissue. So this is just gonna give it a little bit more contrast. Right, that'll do. And I don't want to waste that ink, so I've added a bit more water and I'm just going to smush this white scrap of paper into it because that will be useful later, either on this project or on another one. And I'm going to blast this with my hairdryer. My hairdryer is not as hot as my heat tool, which is why I don't use it for melting embossing powder, but it's really quite useful for drying things when there is already embossing powder melted on there, so it shouldn't disturb it. So for my focal point, I've cut two of these thistle die cuts using a smooth white cardstock. And I've cut two because I want to layer them one on top of the other in a fashion. 
what I'm going to do is colour the top of my thistles purple, just the fluffy bits that stick out the top. And then on this first one, now I need to turn it around so I can see where I'm putting this ink, I'm just going to colour the top because that's the only bit I want from this die cut. I'm also going to add a bit of spruce. So I added matcha and now I'm using a finger dauber to add a little bit of spruce there. I'm going to clean that spruce off the dauber and then I'm going to get this one here and colour the whole thing in matcha and then add a bit of spruce on top just to get some variation. I'm not worrying about the thistle bit at the top, the purple bit, because that's going to get covered up in a tick. So there we go, we've got some matcha on there. And now for some spruce to bring in a bit of darkness and variation. I do kind of want it quite strong, but not uniform. Now I'm going to cut the thistle part off the top of this one and I'm going to layer that on top of this one here and that just makes the die cut look a bit more dimensional and not flat. But I do want to take my embossing tool and run it around the bit where I cut just to bevel the edges make it look a li little less scissor cut and a bit more die cut. Now I just need a little bit of glue and I can dip my thistles and add them on top here. Might just add a little bit more Bruce up here. You can always go in with a pen to add a bit more detail if you want. Maybe use a fine line or something or a very sharp coloured pencil. We're almost ready for assembling and I'm going to use this So Grateful Sentiment die and cut it from white cardstock. And I've got this bit of smushed paper that I did earlier, which will be good for backing my So Grateful, but I think I'm going to just darken it a little bit and cut out a rectangle to put behind my sentiment piece. I've got a little bit of glue on my mat, which I can dip my sentiment piece into and then get that stuck on there. So my card blank is almost four by six inches, smooth white cardstock. I'm gonna add this panel to the front. And now I'm going to dip my thistle in the glue, pop that on there, sort of central, over my background. And then I'm going to put the So Grateful here, but I do want to put a little bit of card at either end to keep it level. And now we'll just add glue all the way along and get that in position. About there, I think. I don't think I need to add anything more in the way of embellishments. No enamel dots or nouveau drops or little circles. I think there's plenty going on there. But I will glaze my thistle with crystal glaze and this will just give it a bit of gloss and a bit of dimension and I've splurged in a couple of places but while it's still wet it's easy to pick up you could use a cocktail stick I'm just running my tweezers over it and it just picks itself up really and then we have one clean and simple card with a bit of messy mixed media in the corner got all this white space here which makes this thing here all the more impactful I think and I'm really pleased with the way that's turned out. I hope you've enjoyed the video and it's given you some ideas of things that you can do with items you already have in your stash. If it has please do let me know in the comments 
leave a thumbs up and if you want to see more from me subscribe and ring that notification bell and I'll see you back here I think tomorrow for our next Not Just Christmas in July video. Thanks for watching, bye for now.